Today we'll be starting the lesson for our sun symbol pocket and we're going to be rolling a slab for the sun symbol pocket today. So this is what our final product is going to look like. It's something um, with a sun in the center. You're going to kind of design your own sun once you're done and it's going to have a pattern that goes around the outside edge and then of course we're going to paint it. But to, um, we're also going to have a little pocket here on the inside. You can kind of see that as I turn it and you know kind of angle the light in there you can see the pocket in here where my finger is um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to need a piece of paper a piece of 14 and a half by 6 inch paper and I'll have this over on the side of the room and you're also going to need a cardboard that's the same length and there should be a little bend in it and if there isn't we'll put one in there while you guys are working um, but most important thing first is that it's the right length then um, as you work um, we want to make sure that you have your name I'm going to just write my name here, Mr. Lundgren. Um, and you want to have your teacher, or your grade, and then your teacher. Let's say this is McClure. McClure. Okay, and you want all that information on your cardboard so that at the end we know who it belongs to. Now, we're going to set these both aside for the moment. Okay, and you want to have your canvas workboard in front of you like this. Then you're going to take your little ball of clay that I give you. Okay, I'm going to give you a big chunk of clay. And what you're going to do is set it in the middle and you're going to try to flatten it out. You're going to just rock it back and forth, kind of like this, and then flip it over and rock it back and forth a little bit more. And you can kind of squish it a little bit. You want to kind of squish it into a longer piece. You can use your hands to squish it, or um, if you can't do that, you can you start right away with the rolling pin. In each work box, you should well you should have a work box at your table. Um, and in each work box, this is what the work boxes look like. It should say your table name on the front here, and it should say it on the top as well. And these little latches should be latched down. And at the end, those little latches should close nicely. Now inside your work box, you've got a bunch of different tools. The tools you're going to need: a popsicle stick a rolling pin and some rulers. Okay, that's all you need today. You need those these two rulers. The rulers go on either side so that your clay gut doesn't get too wide and the rolling pin goes in the center. Now I'm going to be helping kids um, to work but what you want to be doing is you want to be taking your rolling pin and you start in the middle and then pull towards you and you can see how it's kind of hard because the clay wants to pull with me and then start in the middle and push away from you and the most important part is that at this point you take it and you pick it up and lift it up and flip it over because what happens is the clay gets stuck into the weave of the fabric and then it won't move so you want to roll it and roll it and roll it and at this point if you take your piece of paper and you lay it on top what you want to do is you want it to be just as big as the paper or maybe just a little bigger so you can trim it to the right size. So I've rolled it a couple times now and flip it over and I have a really big piece of clay so I'm gonna need to kinda trim mine down a lot. So I'm gonna push away from me from the center and pull towards me from the center and what happens is this 14 inch piece of paper if you notice it's a little bit shorter than the piece of um, workboard. So if you get your clay to the ends of the workboard, you're doing pretty good. Then you can kind of start at the center this way and roll sideways and try to flatten out your piece of clay sideways. Okay. Now, if you look here, you can see if I push down, I make a little dent in my clay. Well, at some point, you're going to hit the two rulers on either side, and the deal is you want to hit those rulers on either side. Okay, because if you don't hit those rulers on either side, your clay is too thick. And you don't want your clay to be too thick, because if it's too thick, then it's going to be really hard to work with later. So you want your clay to be the right thickness. That means this part here, how thick this edge is. So I'm going to kind of roll it one more time, flip my clay over, and I think at this point, you keep your rulers on the side. You should have your rulers on your canvas workboard. You should be able to take your um, your rolling pin, slide them down a little bit, and roll right off the edge here. And now, if you hear, 
it hits those two wooden rulers and makes that clacking sound and that means it's the right thickness and it should roll pretty freely from one edge of your um, canvas to the other and if I push my rulers there I can go right off the edge and now it rolls freely right across the surface because it's sitting on top of those wooden rulers once you're done with your wooden rulers put them aside take your rolling pin set it aside if there's any problems with clay sticking on your rolling pin you can take a popsicle stick and just s kind of slice the clay off the top you can see how that happens okay and it, that's only if it gets stuck on there um, and if the clay is too wet you can put your paper on top and kind of smooth it off as well now you can see my paper is bigger than my clay and that's what we want what we're gonna do is we're gonna then take your popsicle stick and we're just gonna trace it right along the edge of the paper because we want this to be as big as our paper and then you're gonna take this extra clay and get rid of it now this extra clay we're gonna put into what's called the wet clay bucket which is over on the side of the room right, right where you got the toolboxes from and what I want you to do with this clay is you're gonna kinda ball it up into a little ball and then one person whoever's job it is is gonna take it over to that clay area okay so here is our finished slab should look like this it should match the size of your 14 and a half by 6 paper and of course I'm using the wrong one here it doesn't have that measurement so that's what we're using then you're gonna take this and this is where the the cardboard piece comes in here's your cardboard piece you're gonna flip it over so that this part is flipping up okay you're gonna get your clay off by flipping it over just like that and peeling your canvas workboard off now it's sitting on top of our cardboard right which is what we want okay I'm gonna kind of transfer it onto the top of my canvas workboard and I'm gonna turn it so that my flippy end is down here okay then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some just regular junk paper that I have on the side of the room some free drawing paper or something else I got and you're gonna crumple it up okay you're gonna crumple it up into a ball and stick it inside your clay and watch how I do this I'm gonna take this chunk here and I'm just gonna roll grab the bottom I'm gonna roll it up over the top scrunch it down a little bit then I'm just gonna pinch these sides together pinch 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 and then I'm just gonna kinda rework this part of the clay here and what you want is you want your your piece of paper inside to stay inside and that'll burn away later I've actually got too much I'm gonna take one of these out you only need one apparently and that pinching the clay if the clay is wet enough should work now if the clay is too dry or we have enough extra time you can get just a little a little bit of water from a water cup so here's my water cup you can get just a little bit of water and stick it inside and just kind of rub the edges like this and if you stick those together kind of smooth the edge out that'll make it stick even better okay, and I'm going to pinch this edge back together now okay now I've got my edges nicely pinched together and my board can bend up like that now the trick of this is the board needs to bend up so it can fit into your artwork box because if we, if this piece bends up it'll slide into your artwork box just right and it'll keep it nice and flat for next week what you're gonna do then is you're gonna bag it up really nicely so that next week we can put our textures on okay and that's how you make the slab for your sun symbol pocket